Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the 2012 Seven Day Rogue Like Challenge. Um, we have a really, really cool one today. One of the types of games that embodies everything I like about Seven DRLs, and that is like, um, you know, classic roguelike gameplay with a twist that makes it unique and yet is means bite sized so it's something I can tackle and you know try to beat quick instead of something I sink you know hundreds of hours into. That's usually the the recipe for what I adore. This one goes a little further than than the uh, standard uh, roguelike. It definitely goes into territory we uh, a lot of twists. Let's say it that way. Something else worth noting um, is that. Um, we see a number of themes each year with the seven-day roguelikes. Usually we can identify them at the end. I'm starting to identify two already. Let's start with one of them. Um, this game is called Mutant Aliens. Um, you won't recognize that theme yet, but there is another uh, game coming up about mutants. Um, discounting the Swamp Monsters, which may have been mutants, but uh, specifically a, a game coming up about mutants as well. So um, that's a possible theme that may evolve through the seven-day roguelike. Uh, challenge of 2012. Um, another one we're definitely seeing is to do with crash landing on planets, because this is the second one in a row. Uh, let's go look at the plot of this. This is uh, Alien Mutants, no, pardon me, Mutant Aliens by SRD. And if we open the README, which is not uh, a text file, so I have to explicitly say open it with Notepad, even though it's basically a text file. Here's the damn plot. Uh, mutant Aliens. Um... In this game, your ship gets a bit confused about some radio transmissions, lands you on an unexplored planet, opens the doors, and refuses to shut them. Your only option, of course, is to pick up your radio, guns, explosives, and miscellaneous devices, and go destroy the transmitter. Hopefully your ship will let you close the doors and get you to your intended destination once you've accomplished that. Of course, this being an unexplored planet is full of alien monsters that want to claw out your spleen and eat it. Hence all the firearms. Uh, zero is the lowest difficulty, and it's a bit too easy. Nine is the hardest difficulty, and it might be winnable. <laughs> Four or five is supposed to be the standard difficulty. Let's take a look um, at the actual game itself. Um, let me just move shit around on my screen so I can see what I'm doing. Okay. Let's go with... I mean, five would be bog... Well, four or five, right, is, is standard. Let's go with... Um, Two is too easy. Nine is too hard. Three is okay for beginners. Seven, seven is standard. I'll tell you something interesting. Um, first of all, I have uh, this is Mutant Aliens version four, which you can find in the archive RL. I had previously found Mutant Aliens version three. I don't know where I found it. I can't find it now. And that's a third theme we're already seeing with the Seven Day Roguelike of 2012: is that the games are impossible to locate outside of the archive RL. Usually I can dig up 80% of them, and a few of them we have to resort, resort to the archive. We've done like three or four in a row that are just archive-bound. Can't find them online anymore, even with the Wayback Machine. But in one of the earlier versions of this game that I played, it said 5 is standard. Um, 7 is standard. Fuck you, unless, unless Mutant Aliens version 4 made it uh, you know easier. We're going to go with 5 for now, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how it goes. I reserve the right to lower that or raise it accordingly. Um, immediately after that, we get this little help screen. Give me one second, guys. Okay, so with the movement, we got the stupid VI keys or the awesome, awesome numpad. F is fire. T is throw. Very important to remember that. Capital R, yeah, I guess capital R is run. Very important to remember, th remember that. Check radio is little r. Wield your pistol is X. Wield your rifle is Y. Wield your cannon is Z. Mute advice, which we will not be doing. Um, close the ship doors is C. Um, thought that was automatically interesting. All right, let's let's go ahead and uh, let's just hit like a fucking let's hit right. All right, here's here's our guns. So the pistol is low damage. The rifle is medium damage, but I can tell you from experience it's an automatic rifle, so it fires multiple rounds at once. The cannon is high damage and splash damage, so don't use it perhaps when you're standing next to it, is my guess. Our devices that we are carrying, we have low explosives, which have a radius blast of two. Again, I think we want to make sure we're out of that range. High explosives, which have a radius blast of four. And we have some distractions. We have a hologram, we have noise, we have a scent, we have a brain slice for psychic aliens. That's fucking weird. Set a timer from 0 to 9 when throwing. All of these have very useful spy cameras, so I guess you can sort of still see the area around the 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 thing that's going on. Uh, let me hit, like, enter, maybe. Monster memory. No one has seen this planet or these aliens before and lived to tell the tale. To survive, you keep a note of your observations in the status panel. That's to the right. 
The first column is size, small, medium, huge. The second is walk speed, slow, average, fast, relative to your walk speed. I.e., if they're average, they're going to move at the same speed as us when we're walking slow, they'll move slower than us when we're walking fast, they'll move faster than us when we're walking. The third is their max run speed. Some of this stuff is new. Some of this stuff wasn't in the earlier versions of the game that I saw. Um, I haven't played this in quite a while, so I'm kind of going off memory went from version 3 that I played a long time ago, or even other versions if I had them. Um, the third is your max run speed, slow average, their max run speed, pardon me, slow average or fast, relative to your max run speed. I don't think they can run before. As stamina runs out, you get slower. Now, I'm not, oh yeah, there's your stamina, okay. Scene. The fourth is damage, weak, strong, dangerous. The last is health, frail or tough. Uh, frail aliens are very easy to kill. Some tough aliens are easier to kill than others. So it's not exactly a binary state. Let's see, enter, okay. Your ship is claiming, despite the surrounding trees and hostile aliens, to be safely docked at a space station. You need to fix this malfunction and get the F off this planet. The ship uses automated radio signals to dock, so there must be a radio transmitter here. You can use your portable radio to try to find the source of the transmissions, then disable it with explosives and escape. The ship plays a cheerful tune, and the door opens. Automatic docking completed. Welcome to Spaceport X-73A. Please enjoy your stay. Alright, so here we are inside our little ship. Which puts me in mind of the Sidewinder from Elite Dangerous, or from Elite, I guess. Uh, if you've ever played those old games. Little tiny ship, or the at symbol. Um, we have 100 health, as you can see right here. Here's our ammo for a pistol. 55 rounds, 140 for the rifle, which we're apparently using because it's highlighted in yellow. But remember, it fires automatically. And the cannon, which has massive damage, a little bit of splash, only 25 rounds. Our stamina bar, I'm guessing? I, I don't remember encountering that before. Um, this must be the, the various devices we have. Low explosives, we have five of them. High explosives, we have three of them. We have three holograms, two noise makers, uh, three scents, scent distractions, and four brain distractions for psychic aliens that I don't recall ever encountering. Let's just head out of here and see what the hell's going on. So here we are on the planet. Look at all those pretty, pretty trees. Um, you can see beneath us, right, right at the top right here, it tells you what grid coordinates you're at, as well as what terrain you're standing on. We're on soil. There's a pounding coming from the southwest. Okay, this is quite a bit different than the much earlier versions I played. Um, some sort of terrifying sound in the southwest. We don't want to look at that, necessarily. Let's head southeast, or northeast a bit, just to go in the opposite direction. And now we're going to try our radio. Is that R? Little R? The ship plays a cheerful tune and the door opens. Blah, 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 blah. That's, that's the old news. Now you can see here, right here, this is what we're hearing through the radio. Um, you want to keep an eye on that. As this gets more and more coherent, we're getting closer to the transmitter. Now one thing that has never been established to me in this game, it's not in the rule book as far as I can see, let me double check, or elsewhere. Um... One second. It tells us a little bit about some of the uh, stats of bug or monsters we're going to look at again in a second, but um, it doesn't tell me if, like, leaving your radio on, does that noise attract aliens? Because if not, you want it on all the time, right? You want to leave it running. I'm going to turn it off. Well, maybe, maybe I, every time I press R, it gives me that. Okay, I thought you'd toggle it on and off. I guess not. As you can see, we're not doing so hot with the... Um, the sound of it. Let's press R again. So it seems like it might be getting worse. Explosives destroy walls. Little tips. Yeah, I'm not seeing it getting any better. Let's head northwest. Let's, let's head west, actually. Uh, northwest. We still got a pounding from the southwest. As you can see, the big, the big T's. The big T's. Um... You can't see through them in terms of mapping. That's a big tree, a little tree you can see through. I might have saw an S up there, some sort of monster. We haven't seen yet the the particularly interesting, some of the, some of the more interesting aspects of this game. We're really not meeting a lot. Maybe we really did need level 7 difficulty now. If anything, it's just as bad as it was before. Let's head southwest. We're not picking up anything. Uh, it doesn't seem like we're getting any closer. Fuck, it's totally dead now. <laughs> Let's go north. Alright, that's a little better, isn't it? That's how you pronounce that sentence, by the way. 
Might be getting better. Not mo Pounding from the east. Maybe we did need um, a more difficult level. We're not meeting any monsters. Usually I'm swarmed in my memory. It's definitely getting better, right? Oh, you are going to jump. Definitely getting better. If you can. If you can't do a battle, tell her these. Definitely getting closer, guys. If you want to. If you want to. Try some stuff. Why the Milford? Seems like we gotta go north, guys. I can't believe we haven't met a monster yet. This is very, very foreign to the game I played a long time ago. Please enjoy your stay. We're getting very close. I can make out what that says. There's a screech from a question mark. We don't know which direction that came from. Sent gens to distract aliens. I understand that. We have, oh, there's an alien. All right, let's try a... Is this, now, here, here's one of the neat things we're going to see right here. <clears throat> if you look at this portion of the screen, these are the aliens we're facing. N's, U's, C's, H's, R's, L's, and G's. Those are randomized. What letter is used to represent the monsters each, each game is randomized because the name of the monster is randomized because the stats of the monsters are randomized. So it truly is mutant aliens. Every time you play the game, you're facing different monsters. In this case, all the data we have so far is that this, whatever this R is, it's small and it's fast. Uh, walking, it'll, it'll outpace me. I could start firing at it. One second. We can try and run, but it, it is pretty fast. Let's try firing at it. Let's try um, F for fire. It automatically targeted it, and we want to hit uh, F again. There you go. We shot it. Bang! The rips claws hit. Definitely use four rounds. Bang! The rips claws hit. All right, we killed that thing, it, and we learned about his health. Frail. Fucking took twelve rounds to bring down what something is called frail. For fuck's sakes. I don't know how frail that is. Are you there? Can you help me? Uh, we're getting closer. Or at least we're in the general vicinity. It could be east or west now. Do do boy. To barnacle your ship for free. Oh, debarnacle your ship for free at the dry dock. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Let's head east a bit. Toilets are situated on every floor. We are really close, guys. Where this transmitter is, it is fucking close. Oh, there we go. I can see it. That question mark, I believe, is the transmitter inside that building. Maybe we'll try blowing it up with, like, let's just throw right now. Let's try a, th a T for throw. And... Does it ask me what I want to throw? Throw mode. I'm going to press H for high explosive. How do I how do I tell it what to throw? Tab to target. Three to... Th th T to throw. Tab. Oh, damn it. I don't know how to select things. How do I select? Let's go with question mark. Can't do that yet. Uh, let's go with escape. Question mark. That doesn't work anymore. Question mark is not working. I for info? Maybe it's stuck in this targeting thing. Um, let's try T for throw again. Did it freeze? No. I can move still. What I want to throw is a an explosive right here. I don't know if that's a window. It might be. Um, we could also just try this. Let's try this instead for now. Although you do have to figure out how to throw. Let's try Z to switch to cannon. Does that work out due to capital Z? Alright. You get out the plasma cannon. Let's fire F. Um, we want to do t t tab to target. I'm moving the target over to this thing. And let's try fire. I can't do that because it's through there. Let's try targeting the wall. Boom. There you go. Okay, well, that was the cannon fired at the wall, which blew up the uh, transmitter behind it. We're definitely going to play at a higher difficulty level. They changed the difficulty substantially since the much earlier version of this game that I saw, where the game was, you were swarmed by aliens within seconds of leaving the ship. We've met one, thankfully. Let's follow our back trail. An old army trick. I remember um, 
when I was in the army a long, long freaking time. There's pounding coming from the south. We gotta be careful. We may meet whatever the hell's making this noise. Um, when I was in the army very long ago, I was on an exercise once, and uh, I was the second in command of a of a section, which is an eight man team. I was uh, like a senior private, or maybe I was a corporal by then. I don't recall. Um, and our master corporal was leading the section and we were out on some sort of exercise. We had to schedule some machine gun position or something and report back. And as part of the exercise, after we, uh, here comes an L. It's medium and it's slow. Let's just keep walking. We should be able to outpace it. Don't even have to run with R. Give him a couple of L's. Can I throw, uh, can we figure this out? One second, I'll tell you the rest of the story in a second. T, throw. Tab to target. I pressed tab, it's not working. I'm pressing tab again. Is there any chance this is just broken now? Do I have to select the item first? We'll check it out after this, guys. Let's try um oh let's try let's try ignoring this for now and just continue on our way. We're almost to the ship anyway. We don't really need to throw anything right now. Let me escape from here and win the game, and then we'll uh oh. Is that a, is that a C? That's a huge monster. Um, we, we could fire at it with the cannon right now. F. Let's back out of here. All right, we can't use a cannon anymore, that's for sure. Let's try running. R. No, uh, we want R like this. Oh, this thing is faster than we are. All right, we're going to have to switch back to the rifle. That didn't work. We want Y, shift Y. Are we still running? Our stamina's dropping. Are we dead? No, we're not dead yet. Oh, there's an L in front of me. Get out of the way, L. C, closed door. Okay, that's fire. Fire. Fire, 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 fire. Kill the U, it's frail. Kill the L. It turned red, I think. Unless there's a second L. No, it turned red. I think it's almost dead. Damn it. We're at 45 health. We gotta get rid of these things. We're almost dead. We have 15 health left. We don't know much about the C, aside from the fact that it's slow and its damage is dangerous. We're probably gonna die. We killed it. But there's something else coming in the door. There's a few things we gotta, um... Fuck. We're down to nine health, guys. Can we kill this thing off so we can close the fucking door? Are we dead? We're dead. We'll try this again in a second. Let me, let me press Q to quit. No, Shift Q to quit. And we'll fire that back up, and then I'll finish my story, and then we'll try it again. Um, so yeah, I was out on an exercise. Um, I was second in command. We scouted the position. Uh, the section commander went off with one of the privates or something to to get a closer look or something, and then never returned. I'm sure it was part of the exercise, and they told him, hey, you gotta go so that we can see if this other guy can get the team back. And I did not want to, because I hadn't really paid attention to the briefing. I didn't really know where home was. <laughs> so I tried to stall as long as possible. Like, they'd come over and like, ask him, what are you gonna do? I'm like, I'm gonna wait a little longer, wait a little longer, until like a half hour had passed. I'm like, we can't wait anymore. So I took a back bearing. I figured that much at least. was like, ask the guy who'd been mapping, how the hell did we get here? Took a back bearing and followed it back. I just thought of that now when I said, let's take a back bearing on our trail. I got us fairly close to back. I mean, we missed it by, uh, by, what, 30 meters or so we were trying to get to, but not a big deal. Let's try 7 as standard, because we, we did pretty well there. Now, is it capital T to throw or something? What the hell is wrong with throw? No, when I press T, it's throw. How do I select? We weren't able to actually use our devices. This is the problem. We couldn't use our devices. Let me look in the README. Uh, devices. Oh, you actually have to press the letter. Here it is. Um, so maybe, maybe T, throw, and then you press the device you want. A, B, C, D, E, or F. Capital seems to be it. Or else you press them. Press that letter first, and then press T. I don't know which. Um, but we'll try that next time, so we didn't use any devices. It's A through F. All right, let's go ahead with this. Enter, enter, enter. All right, so it should be a tougher game in general, is because, please enjoy your stay, um, because we are, of course, um, 
dealing with more monsters. Now you'll note our cannon ammo, etc., is lower. Is that because we're playing on a harder difficulty, or is it random? I don't know. Neither do you admit it. Hey, we're inside or something. Our radio. Not doing great with our radio here. Definitely want to check it periodically to make sure you're heading in the right direction. Oops, I pressed the wrong button. Did I do something wrong there? What happened? Scampering from the southeast. Let's go northwest. All right, there, here comes something it's small and fast. We got a rifle out. Let's just fire it with that. We killed it. Whatever it was, it was frail. I didn't notice it was a gas drow. I think it strings together a few different, you know, consonant vowel combos to make them a random name. It's kind of cool. The radio is worse in this direction. What's the G like? What's oh, another one of those? Gas drows. We can kill it with a rifle. Let's go east. We don't want to run yet. We don't have to. Hmm. The S is huge and is slow. Let's run. Uh, I meant to run. Sorry. Ah, we're running into shit. All right, let's stop running. Let's press R for radio. Let's right, fire on the W. It's huge and slow and has dangerous damage. It's slower than us, though. We should be able to get away ultimately. I see some windows in that building there. Windows also did not exist. Um, fuck me. Let's try throwing something. Let's try a, uh, a hologram. So it'll be A, B, C. Let's try pressing Shift C. No, that's closed door. Let's try throw. Shift C. Oh, here you go. You can see right there which kind of explosive C. Hologram projector. Now I press target. And we're going to throw it like here. somewhere we can throw it where we can. If it's red, you can't get there. I throw it right there. Oh, and press R. Or enter, rather. T to throw. Oh, that's because I'm trying to go somewhere I can't. Let's throw it there. Oh, yeah, we threw a. Hologram projector there. Let's run again. I don't know if that's going to work, but we're leaving them behind. Let's stop running. Let's do the radio. Radio sucks ass. I think we're going the wrong way, guys. Let's try throwing a low explosive. Tab to target. Right there. T. And that's is it a timer or not? Did it work? Did it work, guys? Did I successfully throw it? I didn't set a timer. Do I have to press zero now to set a timer to zero? I remember setting timers before on this shit. Fucking run again, guys. Run, 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 run until we're out of. Okay, let's go with stop run. Let's try to throw. We're going to throw a high explosive. B. Choose a delay. Zero. We want it to go off instantly. Choose a target. Can I throw it there? Does that work? There you go. Boom! The Y Zugyub dies. Okay, I've got it. I've, I've mastered the system now. We should be walking again, as far as I understand. I'm not sure where it tells you that. We're in walk mode. Okay, I can see that. Let's try heading north. Is there something claws? Is there something on us? Oh, I can barely see it, man. This uh, is a bit small for me. Can I make this bigger? Well, I can probably do it in between games. I won't do it right now in case it fucks you over. The seas are strong damage, average health. The fucking run, man. Seven might be a little beyond us, guys. Let's go back to five, because we almost beat it once like that. So we, we, we at least have something in our belt. I'm going to try a little something something right now. So fire this up. Let me try and experiment with um, properties, and I want to make the... Let's try, like, much larger lettering. No. But larger lettering, but... Uh, let's go back to 16 and see if that fixes things, first of all. Nope. Let me, let me try this again, guys. 
properties. Can I go with like 32? Can I specify? I want it to be a multiple of 16. Um, I don't know if I can specify a given thing. I don't think I can do this. Each character is 8 pixels wide, 16 pixels high. Um, can we go to 24? That should be just a little bit bigger. Does that work? All right, that's not too bad. That seems to have kept everything. I'm going to try and see if I can do this. I'll make this screen a little different size for you. Not that small. At least it's a little bigger for me. I can uh, I can see this see the game better. Let's see if this works. We're gonna try five again. It seems like it's gonna work. Oh yeah, I can see this better now. Maybe I can keep a better eye on monsters. Let's go outside. Let's try radio right away. Get a baseline. We can hear almost nothing. Actually, nothing. It's total static. Let's head east. There's a screech from something in here. A screech from the east. Let's try radio. It's definitely getting better, unfortunately. <laughs> We're heading east and it's getting better. Screech from who knows where. Oh, there's something on us. I didn't even see it there. The nutsack. What does the CR stand for again? Fuck, everything's coming at us now. Damage it does is strong. That's not good. We just killed the M. All right. The M's are, the, the Moog screens are, are pretty um, weak and frail. They're, they're easy. Um, the N's are not terrible, but they're certainly not something we want to fuck around with too much. I don't know if firing like attracts attention. If noisemakers help unattract attention, does firing attract attention? Let's try southeast. Maybe again worse. Go northeast. I can't decipher what the hell they're saying, so that's not good. Trotting from the south. Oh, we're coming up on a building, and we're coming up on maybe the top of the map. It stopped scrolling, guys. It might be in the northeast corner of the map right now. So what this means is just at least find that out. There's something following me. Yeah, we're in the northeast corner, and it's not here. I'm gonna try going south. Maybe east is right, but not here. Seems like it's getting worse. Crashing from the southwest. I don't know. Maybe it's getting okay. There's a Z. Which is huge and slow. Let's just walk away from it calmly. What it told me, by the way, in, in terms of slow, just so you know, um, slow go between one tenth and nine tenths of your walking speed. So it might be almost as fast as us, but it won't. It, technically, it cannot catch us unless something happens and we slow down. Crashing from the north. Does take your turn to do that. Ends we know are not not to be trifled with, but not too bad. Let's run. I don't know if they're never gonna give up the chase. Let's throw a scent generator. Choose a delay of zero. Let's tab to throw it uh where can I get it? Here. That big capital E is my scent generator. Let's see if it helps at all. We're still running as far. No, we're not running anymore. Let's run again. Oh, maybe I were. Yeah, okay, human running. You can't be anything but human. It's just kind of funny that it specifies that. Let's hope the scent generator did something. I don't know if it did or not. Let's stop running. Let's try the radio. Nothing but static, man. We had some luck. Let's fucking fire on this guy before he gets up to us. Let's exhaust our rifle, guys. Does that seem like a plan? Right, we killed it. We're down to half health. R. It's better than it was. I'm pretty sure... Oh, M. Okay, those are easy. C. Small and fast. We're not going to outrun it. It's 
fucking tear through our rifle ammo. There we go. We killed it. What do we learn about it? It's frail. I don't know what the CR stands for. I forget. Let me look that up. Decent little readme file slash intro uh, text that helps you understand everything. Maybe the, maybe the CR and shit's not listed in here. Can we run again? Throw a noisemaker? What's that? Noise generator, D. Zero seconds away. Throw it right there. And let's run. I don't think I have to activate it. I think it's like automatically activated. Oh, for fuck's sakes. This huge slow guy is going to kill me. Jesus, we're almost dead. This is a terrifying planet, guys. We had such luck the first try. And we're not going to get it again. Run. I have no idea where we're going. We detected some imp some some radio s lack of static. This, thing's, this N is faster than me. It's capital N. It's capital N. Jesus, what does that mean? It's faster than me. I'm still running. I've got... No, let's not do that. Uh, throw. <sighs> High explosive. B. With zero second delay. Right there. Boom! I'm hit by it. I thought I had a range of four. Maybe I was within four. Let's try one more time, guys. You're getting the gist of this. I'm sure of that. I'm sure we're uh, we're pretty clear on how this game works. It's already been more than a half hour, but I'm enjoying this enough to try one more time. So bear with me. We're gonna try one more time. It's a difficulty f five. Screw there seven. We had such a nice clean run the first time, and couldn't figure out how to throw things. What's the CR mean again? The last is health. Well, that's no, not the last. There's something else beyond that. CR. Maybe that's how many credits you would get if you expanded the game and you could get money for killing things? I don't know. Alright, there's our radio signal. Oh, let's go north. Seems like it might be getting better. We're getting towards the top of the screen, though. So, because we stopped scrolling. That's the top border. That's worse. Let's go west, guys. Go west, young man. I don't know if I should be using like distractions right now. Like, should I be throwing out scent generators right now just to keep things off my trail? Definitely heading the right direction now, I believe. Although we're almost to the damn edge again. It's a very small map. Seems much smaller than last time, but maybe it's because we started we started uh, the first time, rather. I didn't mean to do that. Maybe it's because we started towards the north and such. I didn't mean to do any of this. Get out of here. Escape to cancel. R. We're definitely getting closer to the transmitter in general. At least we were. But we are definitely in the top corner, so if it's not here, I assume it's not going to be in the very top corner isolated. We're definitely, like, theoretically close. One worry I have, and it is speculative at best, is that what if the map itself, in terms of the data, wraps around, so we're detecting something here because it's actually over here, like it's way to the east, like through the map, you know? I don't know. All I know is it's not there. I can't tell if it's getting worse. I really can't. I can't tell. I'm getting very lucky with monsters again. Now it's just about lost.
completely lost here. S, huge and slow. Let's run. Although often when we run, that's when we uh, let's throw a noise generator with a delay of three. Let's do a tab. Let's throw it like here. Stop running. I think we've lost the signal like almost altogether. <sighs> hmm. It's definitely getting worse. Let's head east. We're towards the bottom of the screen. Maybe not. Maybe not. It's definitely lost down here. We come too far south. I think that's almost certain. Let's try firing at this guy who's small. Nice. His health is feather. That's not even listed as an option. It must be like way less than uh, than frail. Specifically, incidentally, guys, bang, the eye trump is hit in the who. So it also randomly names body parts. Now, how these things are being named when it's an unexplored planet? Nobody's ever been here before? Well, I guess they have. There's buildings, aren't there? Still, we've lost the signal entirely, guys. Crashing from the east. Crashing from the southeast. No signal whatsoever, guys. We fire on the fucking thing, get him in the who again. There. Horton blasted your who. No radio signal, guys. That noisemaker is clearly, was clearly making noise, although it seems like when they see me, it overrides it. This eye is huge and slow. Are we in run mode? Yes. Let's try and outrun it. Let's throw a hologram projector with a delay of one. Let's stop it running. Test the radio. We've picked up a signal again, at least. That's kind of neat. You see that holo hologram projector was um, was like moving symbols around of me. Uh, this guy is very slow. Let's definitely try and outrun him. Again, some of these things aren't listed in the rule manual, so it's like didn't even know this was possible. <sighs> we got a signal, not a good signal. Stop running, man. We're gonna run out of we're gonna run out of stamina when we need it. Something is crashing from the west and northwest. Let's go east. I can't find this fucking thing to save my life, literally. It is completely static now. There's a little bit. Is there any chance I was right about the wraparound? Or is there an echo effect? Maybe there's an echo effect when you get near walls. Let's go inside. Let's see if we can see better. Nothing but static. Whoa. There's a. What the fuck are you, Q Gizens? I think it's very slow. Let's get away from it. Almost no signal, guys. What is going on here? What am I, um. Am I sort of picking up or not picking up? You know, like what's going on? There's a little bit of a signal outside. Pounding from the west. Let's keep going southeast. Oops, I didn't mean to press that many keys. All right, this seems like we're definitely on the right track now. Please stay. Please enjoy your stay. There's an F, man. Uh, let's throw a scent generator with a zero timer right there, and let's run. Follow my scent radio. Definitely getting closer. That was a debarnacle your ship for free. Yeah, just kidding. 
Stop running. Please visit pain. Please, please visit again. Please visit again. Um, please enjoy your stay. All right. Are we in the southeast corner? There you are. Fluctuate your every view. Uh, charging from the west. Don't like that, guys. Throw. What do we still have left here? Have another hollow projector? Yes. Hologram projector with a one. Throw it there. Keep these things off me if I can. That little at symbol you saw was my, uh, are you there? Please help me. Was my um, hollow projector creating a hologram. Please visit again. We're really close now, guys. Deep Barnacle, your ship for free. The deck, just kidding. Blah, blah, blah. Definitely close. So close. If you want to buy some stuff, why not get lost in the mall for a few days? Question mark. Hey, why not buy some stuff? It's charging in the west still. We might be losing it. It might be, I think it's to the west. There's a building here. Please enjoy it. It's definitely close. I don't see it through the window. There's an eye, which is huge and slow. We can run again. Let's run. Let's walk. I think it's in this building, guys. Definitely close. Fuck, it's gotta be in this building. I'm pretty sure they're always indoors, guys. There's a little room there we haven't explored yet. How much do you want to bet us in there? It's a little bit far away. I guess there's a little bit of scrambling, unless it's just like caused by the presence of the building. Why did it become a capital I? It tells me that actually. Let me look in the uh, rule book here. Um, you can immediately tell its size. Huge is yellow. Medium is cyan. Small is magenta. You can tell if its walk speed is faster than slower than yours, uh, based on what I told you earlier. If it runs, the same applies as max run speed. A slow run uh, doesn't tell me anything about why it turned into a capital I. I don't know. Let's run again. Run. Throw. A noise generator. With a zero. Tab. Throw it there. Keep running, or walking at least. Hopefully that'll keep that eye off my tail. While I go in here. Fuck, there's a P now. <sighs> Let's fire at it. It's medium size. It's a, a JASP. It's running. I for info. A medium sized alien that is running. It looks slightly wounded. It has a good sense of smell. It can see well. Interesting. It gives us all that. We're almost uh, dead. Right, we did manage to kill it. If the thing's in here, it's not. It is near at hand, guys. Toilets are situated on every floor, but it's not quite here. Maybe it's in this room? There it is. Let's get away from it. Let's switch to our cannon. <laughs> Let's fire at it with the cannon. We did it. Okay, so the ship is free. Do I remember where the ship is? Fuck no. I think we're down towards the southeast corner. We're going to kind of get out of here and go northwest. We're going to leave the cannon as our default weapon for the moment. 
We are walking, right? Yes, keep walking. I'm walking here. Charging from the west. Let's throw another noise generator. With a zero second delay. Tab. Right there. Let's keep walking. Here's a building. We don't want a building. That little eye can't catch us if we, uh, if we walk fast. Let's try and cut through the building. I don't remember where our ship is, guys, and I don't know that there's a mini-map or anything. I don't know how to scroll things around. We did... There's, there's some explored territory. Let's try and... Whoa, what are you? There's a featherweight, for God's sakes. Let's, well, let's just fire it with the cannon anyway. Boom. We see explored territory. We'll start following that trail. There's a dead body. We killed something over here. Throw a hologram projector with this the zero thing. Tab. Throw it right there. I was hoping to distract that E. Did not work. Fire on it before he's too close. Boom, we killed it. The eye trump dies. He cut it in the who. Um, what is a Q? Small and fast. We gotta switch to our rifle, guys. We can't fire at this kind of range, and we can't outrun that thing. That's, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. S, huge and slow. Let's run again. Okay, we're up in the northwest corner, I think. Fuck, guys. All these little guys are on us. Let's throw a hologram projector with zero. I don't think it's going to work, mind you, but we're going to try it. I'm going to throw it right there, and then we're going to run like our lives depend on it, which P.S. Holy fuck. Everything. Look at them, look at them all gathered around that one. This shit's working. Kind of. Are we walking again? There's our ship. I'm going to run again. This is tense, guys. We're almost out of stamina. We did it. You close the doors and fly away. Your score is negative 7,265. What the fuck? I won, guys. How is my score negative? Um, well, whatever. We fucking did it. Um, there you go, guys. That's awesome. That That's a really cool game. That one's a, a definitely tense one. I love I love the fact that it has difficulty levels. I love the different devices. I could use some more clarity, perhaps, on how the de how the devices work. Maybe I don't know how you know something's psychic. I guess if you use the eye info on it, you can use that brain thing. Um, definitely far more advanced than the much earlier version of this game that I played years ago. Um, I loved it. That's a great game. That is definitely worth your time. Uh, I will include a link to where you can find it in the archive RL. Unfortunately, again, I can't even find version 3 anywhere anymore. I don't know where the hell I found it in the first place, but you can find version 4, this version, in the archive RL, and it is definitely a good time to play. Um, that's it for today, guys. I'm gone. Uh, hope you enjoyed that. I'll be back soon with some more, well, probably 2012 Seven Day Roguelikes and, and whatever else strikes my fancy. Have a lovely, lovely day. How do we get out of here? Um... Press Q to quit. Ha <laughs> ha! Victory, negative 7,295. Lovely.